Hey everyone, so here is part 25 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Uh, last episode, we have um, completed almost all the help requests um, for Kikori Village, except for the one where we had to fight Nova because as you can see, um, I wasn't going to win that battle. Um, and we also encounter like this strange team called Team Antiasis, um, who apparently doesn't like it when I help people, which, you know, I feel like that's, you're really reaching if that's your, if that's the entirety of your existence of being a group. But whatever. So in this episode, we will finally take on the Kokori Village Gym and fight Crawley. So yeah, I'm gonna show off my team. Um, we had like a uh, like a sneak peek into it like about two parts ago, three parts ago, about like um, how this lady Holly um, runs the Pokemon Ranger thing, like a, like it's a boot camp, and I'm not sure if I'm, if I if I like it, but whatever. Oh, so you're at the Cory Village Gym? It's been a while since I've heard from you, so I guess that's not surprising. Anyway, is there anything you want to know? Uh, this is probably a little too early to do it, but oh, oh well. Crawley's ace is Araquanid, a strong spider that will trample anything and anyone in its way. Crawley's signature move is called Barbed Web. It's a damaging move that leaves sticky webs after it's used, meaning that if you switch in and stuff like that, it's going to lower your speed. It's a troublesome move. Be prepared if, to have your speed reduced. Anyway, is there anything you want to know? Forest field. Like Keta, Crawley uses the forest field. On this field, the sticky webs effect is doubled, which means barbed webs will be held to deal with. So it sharply lowers your speed. Okay. Flying types are immune to these effects though, so if you have any of those, they'll be a great asset to you. Or, if you use mist like me, not only can you change the field, but mist naturally um, prevents status reduction. So, yeah, <laughs> those barbed webs won't have an effect. Although, with the team I have, I don't think I'll be using this, but I don't know, it depends. Anyway, anything you will know, suggestions. There's water that drains into the arena due to the ocean on Route 5. It creates the same effect as rain. This may seem like a pesky thing, but it's actually the key. The field can be transformed into the rainbow field quite easily if Sunny Day is thrown out. On this field, Crawley loses all of his benefits and the tables turn. White Guard is also amazing here. Try using that and see how things go. So yeah, um, so not only is it a forest field, like you think, oh, let me bring my fire types to a bug type gym. Yeah, it's raining for Crawley. But yeah, by using Sunny Day, um, you can transform it. Like if you guys have like, if you played Reborn far enough and you had the bad experience of, of fighting against like, Charlotte and brought Sunny Day and brought Rain Dance or, or or Drizzle or something like that, you'd experience that rainbow field. So not only that changes the field, but cancels off the rain. And the rainbow field uh, brings its own benefits, which I'm not too familiar with. So you can probably check the field manual for that. So yeah. Uh, but I don't really care for you know changing the weather. Oh. Speaking of changing the weather, uh, not many Pokemon at this point would learn Sunny Day. So, I don't talk to you. So you're gonna have to probably take advantage of the cast form at the Weather Institute if you have a Dunsparce. So yeah, go back, get a, get a, get a Dunsparce at Wispy Tower or something and get a cast form. So yeah. Holly said that I had to use the logs as bridges. What could that possibly mean? Uh, what's on this side? Oh, okay. So this puzzle is a little tricky um, if it's your first time experiencing it, but it's actually not that bad. Heh, <laughs> so you've decided to show up here after all. Perhaps you're not a sorry excuse like, like I initially thought. I, I, I mean, I did say I defeated Crawley before, so I mean, like, I mean, not his full team, obviously. Just half of it, but I defeated him before. That aside, you're about to enter an obstacle designed for rangers to overcome. Surely, if you're if you're positive on battling Crawley, you'll have no problem getting to the end of this cave. 
You'll need to move the terrain located in this area in order to progress. You'll also need the help of the Pokemon located in this cave. A Pokemon Ranger is just a Ranger without their Pokemon. You'll never make it to the end if you don't befriend them, so make sure you do that. It's okay if you don't want to do it after hearing such things. Weak hearted trainers barely make it past the door anyway. Heh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. So. Hmm. Okay. save here um so yeah whenever you push the log on like a pincer or something it will jump over the log causing it to dent and then battle you um can you run away from this battle i don't know i mean like as in like can you run away from this battle and like not suffer the consequences like having to you like you have to fight it um you probably only have fighting moves in Jesus' so it doesn't matter. So yeah, and since the log is empty, you can jump over it. So yeah, pay attention to dents in the log, because yeah, you can jump over them. But before we talk to Holly, let's go around and talk to this Ariados. It is imperative that you talk to the Ariados. Hmm, so you got through the first room. Not that it's surprising, that room was so simple. Literally anyone could do it. Heck, I could do it with my eyes closed. Okay, you know what? Next room will weed out the weak hearted individuals who have no right to be a ranger. Welcome to the infested labyrinth. This is where souls are lost, dreams are crushed. If you cannot get through this part of the course, then you deserve nothing more than d the dirt on my boots. If at any point you feel stumped or you want to start over, simply leave this room and re-enter it. Everything will be as it was before you came here. Additionally, there are teleport pads located throughout the cave if you ever become stuck. You can use a teleport pad at the front of the gym to return to wherever you were last. Have fun. Yeah, so that includes this little small segment that we just passed. So yeah, yeah, that will be resetted um, if you leave the room. You have to create pathways in the logs Push them, jump over them, walk over them. I can't take it anymore. I'll just fade away in the mud. Okay, but like, <laughs> don't give up. I can't do it anymore. I don't know if I have what it takes. Oh, you have it. You're a trainer. Really, I'm gonna have to deal with this? Like, <laughs> this late in the game? I guess, you know, nice and shadow ball. Honestly, I should have gave Maxine. Oh, look. I should have gave Maxine the. 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 I really need some money. That thing survived to a four times weakness. So much mud, so much mud. My fellow comrades are lost within a labyrinth. What are we to do without our lives? Um, I don't know, like, <laughs> why are you asking me? Here's the other goes. Talk to it. Oh. Let's see if I can try to do this on my first try. Because it can get a little tricky. But it, it, it's not hard. Like, once you know what you're supposed to do, it's not hard. So, obviously, like, this whole gym is, is not going to take up the entire video. Probably not even half, but... Um... 
um yeah let me save 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 oh are we gonna need rocks in there oh i have it yo i have the item for it i don't need <laughs> an actual tm for it um I keep pushing the logs in the wrong order. Yeah, you're gonna experience that problem a few times if this is your first time doing it. But then again, he's already so slow. So, cause I'm thinking like a loophole around that barbed web thing and a sticky web that we can find. But actually it wouldn't matter cause all the times before that I fought Crawley in previous save files, I, I never had a, a Vicar Volt. So, like part of me is wondering if I should just continue on. As if I never had, like, fight crawling, as if I never had, um, never had Volta. If you want to learn Flamethrower there, that's depending on you, but it's imperative for me. My opinion, although it's a really good opinion, it's imperative to keep Fake Out. Fake Out is your best friend. Especially with Crawley, because, spoiler alert, it's a double battle gym battle. So, yeah. If I can't get the locks in the right spot, how can I get my life in the right spot as well? Yo, it's not that serious. <laughs> Alright, so let me save here again. Um, make sure you don't accidentally step into the warp pad. Crap. Um. Wait, this. I don't know. Okay, this might be good actually. I just don't know. Oh, wait. Okay. If you push a log up here, you can use it to cross over to that piece of land over there. You'll need to do that if you want to get to Crawley. Yeah, so that's what we did. You need to push that log. That log will be in the right space because of that vertical log. Um, I think that one is good too. Uh, and I need to push this. So that should be... <coughs> That should be everything. That's good. Um, yeah. Yay! So we made it through in one shot. So yeah, that's that's the hardest part. <laughs> um, impressive. Never in my day would I thought I'd see you get here so easily. This next part is simple, but a dead end if you chose not to befriend the Pokemon in this arena. Perhaps not all dreams come true, Meridia. But this won't be the case with your dream. Get out there and finish this course. I'll give you sit ups for a century if you fail this. Get out there. So, yeah, you know, the Aria dose. <laughs> uh, that's why you have to keep talking to it because you need it for this part. Um, okay. Oh. And a Zygarde cell here.
<laughs> oh! Okay, I think I'm kind of dumb. Because I always thought it was like the same Aria ghost. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was the same Aria ghost that you meet throughout the whole thing. Maybe they're all different ones, like four different ones. I am stupid. Hmm, how are we supposed to get past this part? And we bounce, we bounce, and we go! So yeah, that's a gym. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you completed the course. I always knew you could do it. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you recognize me? Why, I'm Polly. We just spoke a few moments ago, didn't we? Wow, what a complete transformation. <laughs> Are you surprised by my sudden change in appearance? You must look tough to be tough. I had to whip those rangers into shape. But I could also be a mother to those who would allow me to. Allow me to intru introduce myself formally. My name is Holly. I am Crawley's surrogate mother. Crawley's mother was my sister. She died while giving birth to Crawley, so I took on the task of raising him. He certainly wouldn't be raised by his no-good father, Rory. Oh, so that's his real name. <laughs> Although you may know him by his stage name, Rowan B. Meridia! Ah, Lita. I decided that I no longer want to be useless anymore. I don't want to have to rely on you or Melia or anyone else. I want to be able to take care of myself, so I'm going to be taking part in the league too. I'll collect many badges and become strong like everyone else. And my, what a start you've made. Oh, sorry. I don't think we've met. Oh, but we have. It's me, Holly. I excuse me? Hehehe. <laughs> well, anyway, you both came to battle my Crawley, right? Well, we shouldn't keep him waiting. There's one final thing you two must do before you face him. Follow me to the platform ahead. Let's go, Meridia. Head down this way and you'll reach the true final course. Oh, and Meridia. I won't I wouldn't get used to seeing me like this. The moment I leave this room, I transform back into my old persona. Hmm. It's strange to refer to myself like that. It's almost as if I'm a Pokemon changing forms. <laughs> Maybe I'll be reborn as one in the next life. Oh, here's an item. Bug memory. I, I think I actually never got that. <laughs> never seen that bug memory. So that's for Savali, right? Yeah. Interesting. Actually, I think you do find some Savali memories um, from this point on, but I don't know. What's going on here? You guys did it. I always knew you two could do it. It's like you two are Rangers yourselves now. Yeah! Go, Meridia! Go, Alita! And this Holly. It's like I said before, there's one final trial you two must go through. A custom all of us had to go through at some point. The leap of faith. Oh my gosh, is this some kind of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse thing? Yo, so what's up, danger? <laughs> the leap of faith? Y you want us to jump? Correct. Open up the gate. Do you trust us with your life? All of us rangers, as much as I as much as I give them hell, we are all family. Doesn't matter if you're one of a, one for a day, two years, 10, 30, 50. We look out for each other here. And we want you to trust us one final time with this test. Will you take the leap of faith? Yo. And we're gonna do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they grow so fast. <laughs> so yeah, like if if you need to go back and like <laughs> you know, rearrange your team and whatnot, you're gonna have to do the leap of faith several times. So, you know. What a fall that was. If that web wasn't placed where it was, that could have been that could have ended badly for us. But I suppose that's what the whole test was about, huh? Trust. We trusted them and here we are, safe and sound. 
Sorry for talking so much. My heart is pounding out of my chest. That was very scary. Anyway, Crawley should be around here, right? And here's another teleport pad. Would you look at this big door? Crawley must be behind this. What do you think? Must be. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that could possibly be behind this door. That being the case, how do we open it? Welcome to the Kokori Gym Battlefield. Analyzing. Warning, multiple people detected in the waiting area. Only one person may be allowed in the battlefield at one time. Guests must wait in the waiting area until all further business is settled. I see. Well, there's no question who- there's no question on who gets first, I think of- of who gets first. You got here first, and the badge probably will help you more than it will help me. The most I can do with one badge is clear rocks, and it's not like I won't have a chance afterwards. So, go. I'll be rooting for you back here. With that said, uh, yeah, uh, let me cut away. <laughs> Like, what's up, danger? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it's actually really funny how how that, how that it it just fits so seamlessly. Like, you know, Spider-Man, spiders, bugs. <laughs> Even though, you know, obviously this portion of the game was done, like, years ago. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, yeah, I made a slight change to my theme. I decided to, re yeah, let me, re let me replace Voltec with Corolle. Um, since, yeah... I never needed Voltec before. I don't really need him now. The only thing that's that's kind of a problem is the fact that Maxine does not have Power Gem. Because usually I had him or her, um, depending on the Miss Magis. I had a hard scale to teach teach him um, Power Gem. Because obviously Mystical Fire is not going to work here because it's going to be raining. Um, so uh, that's, the, that's the thing that kind of gets to me. But, uh, I'm wondering if I should start out with Carol first. But I don't want her to die. Because I need her misting the field. Uh, well, I don't think that would be a problem. At least I hope not. Also, another thing. Um, like, a little spoilers and heads up. Once you be Crawley and leave the area, you won't be able to come back in. So, and and here, if you really like Yama or Yamega, this is like before the battle. Well, maybe you should do it after the battle because you know you need all the Pokemon you can get here. So, like after the battle, you can um, catch the Yamega here and you know leave. Um, just a heads up because you know I'm probably gonna not gonna remember until afterwards. But yeah, after you after you leave this room, once you be Crawley, you can't come back in because Alita will be challenging right after. So yeah. Oh jeez. Let's go. Finally, I've been waiting for you. But I hope my Rangers didn't give you too hard of a time. I'll never get I will never forget how you helped me out back at Goldenwood Forest. Ever since then, I knew I'd get the opportunity to battle you seriously. But this is different. When I was younger, I fell into this cave. I was trapped down here for weeks. Not even my father could find me. The bug Pokemon that lived here helped me survive until I was eventually found. From that day on, I swore my life to every single bug Pokemon on this earth. People think bug types are frail, weak beings, but I'm here to show you how terrifying they can be. Yeah, so now we're fighting Crawley. Legitimately this time. Ario Ghost and Gavantula. <sighs> okay, I know what to do. So I'm gonna fake out the Gavantula and Yeah, and Ario Ghost has a tolerance seed. So yeah, I'm gonna fake out the Gavantula and um miss the, the field. Because one of them, I probably the Gavant Probably the Ario does is going to um, set up, use the barbed wires, thus setting up sticky webs. So. Fake out? Honestly, yeah, like I said, fake out and double battles, it's your friend. So, I, I actually recommend you keeping it. <laughs> so, yeah. 
But having a mixed attack, you know, Incineroar is actually not a bad idea. Um, since it's actually really, it's actually like above average when it comes to special attack. So, you know, you get a, a very well-rounded Pokemon. Seven. It's still raining. Um, actually, let's let's get rid of the Gaventable because it's it's the clearer threat here. Also, if it, if it wasn't for me changing the field, that bug bus would be stronger. Oh yeah, I forgot Mr. Turn weakens Dragon Titans. Can you show kill the eventual from here? Yes. Alright. Stomp tantrum. That's a ground type move. Do I have a revive? Cause I kinda need the issue! Because, spoiler alert, this guy, Crowley has a, uh, um, I may have known but still. Um, Crowley has a, he's probably going to send it out now. If, either that or the Iraq one dude. But he has a thingy, what's it called? The steel type bug type armor thing. Escavalier, yes. Let me send out Brave, because I don't know which one he's going to send out. Yes. Okay, the list of pod. Um, so yeah, at this point, yeah, let me kill everything. <laughs> um, as long as the mist is up, they they can't really do anything. Um, and I mean, especially you know, since the misty terrain is up. <laughs> and I will have Carol basically dedicate. You know, her role is setting up the mist. That's her that's her most important role in all this. It's got oh, thanks her. Okay. So I think we've seen all of his no, except for the escavalier, but I already told you about that. There's that and the arachnid. That's what that's what we have left. That the fact that that thing has stomp cancer, like I didn't remember her. And it's a ground type move. Um Oh crap, I probably should have had him guard. I should probably set up that guard. Uh, really? Because all of his Pokemon from here on out are physical. His Gaventual is his only special Pokemon, so. And I don't think this. Um, do they have Rock Slide? I should have considered this before. <laughs> um, let me heal Brave. And you know, defeat that Aria though because that is becoming a threat now. Um, spark. <laughs> it does have rock slide, but thankfully, Corolla dodged it. Corolla dodged it. That is wonderful. See, and this is why I needed Nistro because I wanted to like switch in and switch out so I could send Intimidates um, right at them. Um, but now that I know that they, oh geez, uh, let me see. I have two revives. I have two revives. Let me Cotton Guard and Spark Ariados. That thing outspeed Carol. Come on. Okay, that's good. That's really good. That's Moxie. That's Moxie. Um. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. Oh yeah, I couldn't have set up the mess before. That makes sense. Dashiana, I need you. Oh, and the miss is... Oh, <laughs> Why? Ah, the timing of it all. Uh, that thing might use Aqua Jet, though. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh! Oh! You're being retarded now! Cavalier. Um, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> yo, they, do you not have Aqua Jet or are you choking right now? Um, yeah, I'm off that again. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. As long as I don't flinch. But that pincer has to go. That, that rock fight did more than I thought. Uh, yeah, okay, so... At this point, I don't really need Dashiana. I say that, and then I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Three... Oh, it's random. Yeah, Maxine. I... Uh... Let's see what I want to do. I, I'm sensing Night Slash from one of them. Let me set up the mist and heal for roll. Actually, no, I don't really need to set up the mist. Because they're not, they're not, like, their moves are not going to be, um. I'm going to heal Carol and revive Mistro. Because I feel like Bug Bus is the only move Carly has that actually takes advantage of the field itself. None of his other moves really do that. If anything, he's gonna take advantage of the rain more. So let me heal Mistro. Liquidation. Because the problem here is the attack. Does it matter? I'm gonna fake out the Lizard card. And I get the Intimidate on both of them. So... Dragon Ruffles card in case it lives. Cause that thing got to go. Fake out the Lizard card. He has a hyper potion. I mean, I mean honestly, he hasn't used a potion. So, it makes sense. Oh, which makes this kind of like Loki even more annoying because this is, this is his last three Pokemon. That's true, one. Okay, but Intimidate makes me like, yeah. Yay. The real superpower of teamwork. Um, let me, uh, yeah, let me heal Nistro and what I want to do. Firefang would do like four times damage on this Cavalier, but how much it would the rain make that not matter? <laughs> uh, let's let's give it a try. It's like almost halfway dead. You do have Aqua Jet, but you let that was some crit. He has a lot of coverage. Um, acrobatics. Can we kill you? Thank you. And now his Araquanid. I feel like everyone's gonna try to jump Rihanna. So, yeah. And 
it's raining too, I just remembered. Okay, that's alright, I hope. Okay, that's not alright anymore. Are you kidding me? I, I, I think I lost. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Let's see, let's see how far we go. The fact that it's just, it's like two of them against me, like... Oh! Am I gonna win? Yo! And I have flame body, so can you please burn yourself? Okay, no. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna win? For no reason! Okay. <laughs> yo! I'm gonna win for- yo. Why is it so close though? Why you gotta give me a heart attack on top of everything, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, if I didn't have hope, I would just restart the battle right there and lose this wonderful opportunity. Yo, yay, Riona is secretly the MVP of this battle. <laughs> wow, just wow. Why am I not surprised? My bug for one were crushed after all. Yo, okay. I expected nothing less from you, Meridia. You rightfully won this badge. The infested badge. Pokemon up to level 50 will now obey you. Hmm. I was supposed to give you a TM, but I forgot to bring it back with me from my hideout at the wetlands. If you're ever in the area, I suggest looking for my secret hideout. Perhaps you'll find something interesting. Oh. Wanda. Bestow your soul upon the light. Ask for forgiveness, and thou shalt be forgiven. Angie. So it's another flyer from Angie. You've been causing me so many, so many problems, Angie. Uh, sorry, Maria. I was just talking to myself there. You're free to go. I have some things I have to tend to. Um. So yeah. At this point, catch a Yama. Because if you leave, you're not coming out. You're not coming back in. So yeah. I don't think I would want a Yamega at this point now. Like in my last save file, I didn't catch one at all. Because I, I didn't really need to. So... Meridia, so how did it go? You did it! I was so sure you could. Well, I guess it's my turn, right? You don't have to wait for me, Meridia. I'll catch up with you guys later, alright? Wish me luck! Attention, only one person may be present at all the time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we pulled the victory somehow. <laughs> uh, that is so wonderful. Ah, there's Meridia. How did it go, Meridia? I assumed you won. Congratulations. You only need one more badge and then you're good to go. Crowley told me that there's a gym in the place called Taylor Resort. It's on the way to Crystalline Town, so we're going to have to make a stop there first. But to get to Taylor Town, we're going to have to go through Route 6 and Aquamarine Cave. Well, we have a long road ahead of us, so let's get going, team. Understood. Okay, so we're going to a resort. Ooh. Chapter 7. A Tale of Fire and Ice. <laughs> it is kind of a pun. It's, it's, it's kind of... Ugh. But, yeah. Okay. And now all the music is silent. Uh... Um, let's see. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I kind of need to go into my PC, but... Alright, so even at this point, I won't be... Um, I don't know, should I stop the part here? So it makes it feel more, you know... I don't know, contained? I don't know, let me do that. So yeah, you know, we defeated the Kokori City Gym, Abs Kokori Village Gym, defeat Crawley, and we start we are starting a new chapter. So I guess in the next part, we will be heading in the same direction as Melia and Valerie to head to Taylor Resort. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>